French Indochina was formed in 1887 as the result of French colonialism in Indochina, comprising Cambodia, the Vietnamese regions of Tonkin, Annam, and Cochin China, and Laos. This so-called Indo-Chinese Union gave France all powers over its colonial territories, while the local leaders acted only as puppet rulers, until 1954, when a decisive battle broke out, ending the domination of French colonialism in Indochina and bringing real independence back to the region. This battle was known as the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Path to the First Indochina War In 1930, as an attempt to gain self-rule over France, the Communist Party of Vietnam was founded in Hong Kong by Ho Chi Minh, a Vietnamese revolutionary and politician. As a united communist organization of the Communist Party of Indochina, Communist Party of Annam, and the Communist League of Indochina. A few months later, the communists initiated a broad wave of peasant rebellions, particularly the uprising of Ne Tin Soviets, and managed to set up Soviet administrations in several provinces of Annam. The movement was suppressed by the French in 1931, but the party continued to extend its influence until the outbreak of World War II. In response to the Japanese occupation of French Indochina during the war, a National Front organization was formed in Pak Bo Cave, near the China-Vietnam border, called League for the Independence of Vietnam, or known as the Viet Minh, to organize resistance against French colonial rule and occupying Japanese forces. In the following years, led by General Vo Nguyen Giap, Viet Minh launched several guerrilla operations against the Japanese, eventually controlling much of the border areas in northern Vietnam in the following years. In March 1945, Japan dismantled French control and completely overran Indochina, resulting in the creation of Japanese puppet states, the Empire of Vietnam under the reign of Bao Dai, the last French-appointed emperor, the Kingdom of Kampuchea, and the Kingdom of Luang Phra Bang. This event, in fact, was an opportunity for Vietnamese revolutionaries. Following Japan's surrender to the Allies in August, the Viet Minh units launched the August General Uprising, and within two weeks gained control of most parts throughout North, Central, and South Vietnam, including Hanoi on August 19th. A few days later, Bao Dai abdicated, handing power over to the Viet Minh. On September 2nd in Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh declared Vietnamese independence from France and formed the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Determined to regain control over Indochina, the French, however, seized Cochin China with the aid of the British and proclaimed it an autonomous republic. Negotiations between Ho Chi Minh and the French government over the future of Indochina and the independence of Vietnam went on for months, but did not go anywhere. The tension escalated on November 23, 1946, when the French naval fleet bombarded the port city of Haiphong, killing at least 6,000 Vietnamese civilians. This incident paved the way for the Battle of Hanoi in the next month, marking the beginning of the First Indochina War. The First Indochina War during the first years of the war, the Viet Minh organized a small-scale insurgency against the French in the rural areas, eventually dominating more than half of the countryside in 1947. In 1949, in an attempt to weaken the Viet Minh, France reunited Cochin China with the rest of Vietnam, forming the state of Vietnam as an associated state with the French Union that also included Laos and Kampuchea. Bao Dai at the time was appointed as chief of state. However, the Viet Minh forces, commanded by Vo Nhu Yang Giap and assisted by China, continued to launch successful guerrilla operations against French forces aided by the U.S. and seized control over most of the countryside by the end of 1953. While the French were rapidly losing their ground to the Viet Minh, the Battle of Dien Bien Phu broke out, decisively settling the fate of French Indochina. The Battle of Dien Bien Phu 
Dien Bien Phu was a heavily fortified base located deep in a valley that served as the nationalist supply lines into Laos. In recognition of the important strategic position of Dien Bien Phu, the French newly appointed commander, General Henry Navarre, sent more than 16,000 troops to seize and fortify Dien Bien Phu, formed 10 defense centers which were divided into 49 well-defined strongpoints in three subsectors, making the base into an unbreakable fort. Colonel Christian de Castries was chosen to be the French local commander at Dien Bien Phu. On the Vietnamese side, a decisive campaign was set up to attack Dien Bien Phu under the command of Vo Nhu Yang Giap, with over 50,000 soldiers sent into battle, over 260,000 laborers, and 27,000 tons of rice put on standby. The battle was divided into three phases. The first phase began on March 13, 1954, with the Viet Minh launching a fierce bombardment on the very strong defense center of Beatrice. Him Lam. Within hours, they seized control of Beatrice, and two days later overran Gabrielle and Anne Marie. The first phase ended with the destruction of the French northern subsector. The second phase began during the night of March 30th, aiming at the central Dien Bien Phu, particularly at Elian and Dominique. The Viet Minh forces launched simultaneous attacks on the east strong points and certain west ones of the central subsector. In the meanwhile, the Americans sent more bombers and transport planes to support the Dien Bien Phu base. More and more French parachute drops were reinforced to the French garrison. Enemy bombers were dropped day and night to cut off Viet Minh supplies, but failed to do that. By the end of April, the Viet Minh took control of over 90% of the airfield, tightening encirclement and cutting off enemy supplies to the garrison. The final attacks began with a massed assault from the Viet Minh forces on May 1st. On that night, Eliane 1, Dominique 3, and Huguet 5 fell to the Viet Minh, while the French gained back Eliane 2, which then fell to the Viet Minh on May 6th. On May 7th, an all-out attack against the remaining French units was launched. That afternoon, the Viet Minh forces captured de Castries, and a few minutes later, the red flag waving on top of the enemy bunker marked the victorious end of the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. The Fall of French Indochina French decisive defeat at Dien Bien Phu paved the way for the sign of the Geneva Agreement in July 1954, in which France was forced to pull out of Indochina. Laos and Cambodia declared independence. Vietnam was divided at the 17th parallel into a northern state, governed by the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, and a southern state, governed by the State of Vietnam. In other words, the victory in the Battle of Dien Bien Phu put an end to the French colonial presence in Indochina and to the eight-year-long Vietnamese anti-French resistance war, opening a new chapter for the revolution of Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.